and we are back. This is three episodes on the trot. This is quite uh, unheard of, and immediately I've just found a Kodama. Up you go, buddy. Uh, so, let us continue. I think it's because I've not been just dying and dying and dying. I'm not saying that's about a change, mind. Or not about a change. <laughs> I know how well I can perform in this game, and it's not the highest. There's the door that I couldn't open before. Let's just get this guy. One hit. Holy moly. Uh, again, wasn't looking at my health though, so I may have been at a lower level. But that's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can get our dog back. We can make our way up to that area fairly comfortably. Uh, I don't know why I say these things, because that always ends up jinxing it. Right, come on. Let's get this fire, dude. Nice. He was in a down state there, but I couldn't do anything about it. So I need to get to the other side of that door. And to do so, I am going to run around here. I could also redo all of the... Oh, this guy again. I could also redo all of the revenants and try and get some more good gear. But uh, let's just focus on this bit for now. I am... Um, I was actually down here, I think. So I will lose a little bit of health. Well, I can drop onto here. What's this? Anything good? I don't know how many, what the max is, the max Kodamas per level is. Is it five? Because I found another one. Which I think is four, I think I've found in this little level now. And these have all been accidental as well. The only time it's not been accidental is when I redid the first mission because there was some lost footage that I needed to recapture. And I used a guide to, to find the Kadamas, uh, considering I was already like well overpowered for the level. And um, yeah, I haven't used a guide since, so it's interesting to see them propping up. I'm not going to let this guy fall this time. Because I didn't get his gear when he did. I wasn't pleased. Ooh, I should not have used all my stamina. Oh, do you know when I said I was going to get my dog back? Yeah, that didn't happen. Oh, dear. So that means that's more of the <laughs> lovely thingy points lost. I'm ready. Oh. Right. Don't lose patience, please. Try and get these down in an orderly fashion. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna lost the air. Right, okay, that just gives me more um, more motivation to fight some more revenants. Because before oh dear. Before I was more keen just to get to the the doggo and move on. But now I have some much needed Amrita to get back. So, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get some good weapons while we're at Right, can you stop, please? But it's just annoying. I'm not missing. Right, I'm going to climb this. Don't just do something stupid. Stop it. Hear me? Stop. I'll make you a kebab. There you go. I'll make you into one. Nope. Oh, I remembered about him, but just as I was dodging. Uh, right. Oh, I want to land on that mini one. That's okay. I think this will take us up there. Yeah, it does. Uh, nice that there was Assassin's Creed parkour in this, but there is not, unfortunately. Um, I say that as if the game needs it. It doesn't really need it at all. I think it's just because I'm used to it. Nice. Lovely. It's satisfying taking the big dudes down, I've got to say. Right, okay. I feel my power returning. I feel my power leaving. 
taking on this guy with a really annoying bomb, dude. I'm hoping he's got a limited amount. Because that'll get really annoying if he doesn't. Uh, don't, because I can do the same thing. Ooh, nice. Shame it failed you. Oh, these are all downgrades, why? Who is this guy? Where is he? Right, up here. It's so annoying trying to use a bow and arrow. I'm not going to lie. It's because I'm using a controller, I think. Oh, <laughs> I think you ran out of bombs. There we go. That's fine. Right, let's use the A word. No, the E word. Which, as per the last episode, I cannot say because it activates Amazon devices, so... Oh, I was hoping to make a kebab, never mind. Right, um... We can now... Go up. There was a ladder I could... Did I just hear laughing? Not at me, hopefully, but... No, usually the, the little laughter suggests that there's a little dude to save. But I've already got one from around here. It was, oh, hello. I think that was the heart attack station before. If there's a big fire spinning demon that appears, then yeah. If he had hit me with pretty much any of them attacks, I think he would have had me. Right, do I have a ladder? No. Where did I kick down that ladder? It's really gonna irk me if I don't know. Let's climb up here. It might be this ladder. Mm, maybe not. Oh, actually no, it might be, because this is exactly where I need to go. And this is the heart attack station. <laughs> See that spinny thing there? <laughs> he comes out with some force. But I'm ready for him. I wonder if I just walk up to it. Nobody knows. <laughs> Hello. Down you go. Oh wait, no, he didn't go down. Did blow up though. There we go. Right. Anything else around here? No. I, I am keen to unlock this door this time, just so we've got it, and we don't need to do all that faffing about. Mm. That might be the three-quarter section. With the last section, of course, being the boss. Uh, let's get rid of them. Uh, yes, I do want to tear this guy down. I very much want to tear this guy down. Considering my loss last time. Nice. And then... Gotcha. Let's unlock the door as a priority. There we go. So now we can get straight from the shrine to here. Right, now let's take on this guy. Ooh, we've got a chest as well. I don't know if I, I don't think I opened it. See, what if I did? Nice. Okay, and there we go. Lovely. Let's take on this revenant next. It wants to turn. Okay, fine, we'll do the chest. Mm, antidotes I can't complain about because we are in a very poisonous area. If I hold L1 and attack, I'm pretty sure I do something pretty cool. Let's try it again. Yeah, look. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that's a that's an attack. Let's try that on this. Again, this is why I should be practicing the dojo. Right. Look at that. Like that. And that. Whew. Look what I've been missing out on. I've probably been making this game far harder than it needs to be. And that is what she said. Right. Up we go. Right. Well. That's that done. I've learned that I can go like that and then that. If I hold X, does it do it normally? No, it doesn't. So you have to hold L1. Okay. Cool. Well, we are making progress. We're near the 
shrine, which is why I've not bothered going back to, to heal. Although dropping down... Oh wait, well, yeah, I'll, I'll be back at the shrine, I can just drop down. Uh, okay, where is the poison coming from? Because that is a big pit of poison. So I'm going to rush to that ladder and get a better vantage point. That is the plan. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, it's a boss. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was totally ready just to start progressing, but I have a bunch of angry spiders now on me. Oh, oh hello. No, this isn't timed nicely at all. Climb, go up. No. Although his pieces go down quite easily. Which will hopefully... Oh, okay. <laughs> which will hopefully help stop the poison. Um, get my doggo back straight away, and then... See how we can do. I was not expecting that to be the boss. I really, really wasn't. But... Interesting that it is. But thankfully there's nothing in between me and the boss, except this drop down here, and my dog's just here. Ooh, there's a hole there. Um, right? Pro gamer tactics. <laughs> what? No, I'm not quite done here yet. Let's have a look around. But <laughs> what? Was it just a case of backing him up into a corner, going Akez with my dog, and then. That was that? I've got a feeling that was meant to be much harder. Maybe I'm a little bit overgeared or something, I don't know. But uh, that kind of is my tactic, to always try and be good with gear and that sort of stuff. Yeah, there's no special stuff to find around here. Um, I lied. There's a thing here. Antidotes, right, okay. So, useful. I to have to have any more poison stuff later on. Um, okay, well, there we go. That's the level completely, so I'm actually kind of chuffed. And we can now go forward. Oh, let's try it again. <laughs> uh, this will end the mission. And I will proceed. Well... That was a... Happy accident. As Bob Ross would say. The only accident being I, 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 I just kind of went, look, I'm just going to go all out in a corner and uh, <laughs> hope that that kind of sorts them out. Um, right, cool. So we've got another side mission. Um, which, does that give you two different guardian spirits? So is that me misunderstanding that? That sounds like something I'd be interested in. I do like my dog, but... Hmm. Interesting. Uh, how many did I get? Uh, I got... 5 out of 9, so that's not bad for just having a, a, a walk around. Uh, and I died maybe 3 or 4 times in that mission, so... Yeah. Not a bad stint. Right, let's go ahead and jump into the blacksmith. Okay, I'll stop her. I have a request for Tome. Oh, okay. So, ah, maybe if I, when I got the pop-up saying your reputation decreased, maybe this is what it means. Sell prices are currently cheap. So if I, mm, I'm not barber. I don't want to cut my hair. My hair's special. 
uh, additional stuff. Item shortcut settlement. Ah, oh, so you can have three item shortcuts. That sounds really cool. I have just about enough need for two at the moment, so it's not something I need just now, but I will certainly consider that. Uh, okay, sell. So, yep, because I was running out of coins last time, so I would much rather get that. So the hair will become available once, and if I ever want to get a quick trim, but I'm fine for now. So uh, we are instead going to... Let's have a look at the soul match stuff, because it's the expensive side of play. So, sort by level, it's already the max level, already the max level. So there's nothing further I can do with them two weapons. Fine, no problem. I'm looking at my gold and I'm thinking I could really use selling some stuff. So, I'm going to go to buy and sell. Nope, that's buy. That's buy again. There we go. Ooh, actually, let's go back into buy for a third time. Um, These are all level 26. Um, that, that must be my level. Is it? Uh, am I only level 26? No. Yeah, I'm level 42. I was, I was like, no, there's no way I'm that low level. Um, so let's go ahead. And I will get there eventually. Right, okay. Um, so weapons. I am going to go ahead and sell everything that is. I'll keep that. Also, if this is something I really, really, really shouldn't be doing, please let me know. I just kind of feel like I need some gold. Right. So I've got two things that are better than what I've currently got equipped. According to rarity. Now, that's a light item. And that's also a light item. For a light item, it's a 49. Oof. That's really good. Legendary Strategist's Garb. I'm not going to get rid of them. They sound pretty good. And that's level 33 and that's level 37. But the difference between... Armor defense is not even above ten. It's like seven or six, seven or eight or something. But I need more body and skill. That's okay. Right. Um. Again, just gonna sell these. Ah, uh, thirty. doesn't really feel like I can get much... I think gold's probably better to get from missions, if I'm being honest. I really feel like there's a better use for the, the weapons I'm picking up. Such as disenchanting or... Um, ooh, that's at the blazer level. Uh, or using them for... Uh, offerings at the shrine to get more stuff, which is exactly what I'm about to do. So let's go to the shrine, make an offering, and let's get rid of some of the stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, didn't, I really should not have got rid of that longbow. That was a big mistake. Not to worry. Oh, I forgot as well, you can get items from doing it this way as well, which is always worth it. Cool, we'll keep the legendary garb. Uh, go by a level. But no, let's do it already. There we go, right. Yeah. A 
this feels much better. And again, I've just got loads of these to sell. Lovely. And ooh, we've got two pieces of the guard stuff. So let's have a look and see what the um, sub function is. So sense enemies, interesting. Treasure sense, close combat damage. That sounds really good. Uh, okay, I am now targeting that legendary strategic garb. That is my new aim. That's what I mean by the storehouse, by the way. Uh, I've got three pieces of it. Oh. That's just treasure sense, though. Uh, I wouldn't mind waiting until I get the close combat damage bonus, because that's like 9.1%, and that's really good. But as soon as I can get that bosh, I will 100% get that equipped. Yeah. Increase attack and defense. Like, plus 10. Oh. Beautiful. Right, and let's get these. Okay, so that's that done. Now, I really want to know if there's a way you can use shards whilst you're in this zone. I know you can see them from yeah, I think. Uh have I, have I got actually got seven? Oh, I think it just repairs. Okay, that makes sense. Uh let's have a look. Oh, I would love to know if you can use shards just off the bat, like here though. So this wants me to get my skill up for that armor. Which really isn't great. Like, uh, needs my body to go up by one, which is great for the purpose of health, but let's, uh, let's start getting the skill up. Let me just double check that was definitely what it was. Uh, wait. Yeah, skill, 11, no 12. Oh god, it's gonna take a while before I equip it and get the bonuses, but that's okay. That's something to work towards. Um, and also we can always retune our skill points if we feel the need to do so. Okay, dokie, so we have done a good chunk in the last three episodes. We have cleared a full mission. We have killed a boss in two attempts. Uh, yes, my dog helped, but I'd like to think my ingenuity of accidentally backing it into a corner and just <laughs> going hack and slash on him um, worked wonders. So happy I did that. And uh, on the next episode, we will pick a new mission to do. Uh, we've got the submission here. We have this one here. But the one that's caught my eye is this one here because the rewards look pretty juicy. So I will have a look. We also have a Twilight mission, although these do refresh, I think, daily, so it's only when we really need to get uh, anything that's been listed there. It's a great source for gold dots, 43,000 gold. So something to think about, something to bear in mind. If we do need gold, the Twilight missions are a good way to do so. Um, okay, so that's that. That's three episodes uh, in the bank. I'm probably going to upload all three of them on the bounce as in three days in a row uh, and I'll upload it in the morning. Now I have been starting to do live streaming recently uh, and I've been really enjoying it. And the live streams will be in the afternoon and typically can go on for up to basically five hours. That's that's what I've been finding has been the, the typical sort of time scale. So 
I'm, I'm kind of happy to to keep doing that if people are enjoying them and it looks as though it's uh, it's getting a good engagement uh, I think I'm going to continue to do that on top of these missions and whilst I work through this story the next episodes that will be coming up separate to the live streams will be the um, Outriders stuff uh, but they're still trying to fix stuff in terms of inventories and all that sort of stuff so happy to leave that with them um, finally the other thing I just wanted to advise of is there was another video that was uploaded in between this episode and the previous one which if you haven't seen already uh, I would like to <laughs> request that you do so it is uh, introducing our co-captain uh, Captain Dio's there and he basically uh, I make a rescue attempt that's all I'm gonna say and you are more than welcome to watch that video and uh, please wish him a very very warm welcome so I've been Sonder thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the content please do consider subscribing uh, also if you have any commentary please do add some comments uh, or use the like and dislike buttons to let us know what you think of the video it really does help let us know how these episodes are being perceived so thank you again for watching love you as a community so thank you all for being part of that uh, and i'm really looking forward to making more progress so thanks again guys goodbye